In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can access PFSense using the WAN IP address. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So as per the title, I'm going to show you how you can access your PFSense using the WAN IP address. But I want to uh, warn you this method is not recommended and it's not safe. But still, if you want to configure that for a certain amount of time, uh, it's okay, you can do that. All right, so first of all, you need to uncheck two rules on the VAD interface. So once you are logged in, go into interfaces and then into the VAN one. And the last two, are these are actually the rules. So you are actually blocking uh, the network to access the VAN. So if you go into firewall rules, you will see these two rules here. You can see these two rules. These are block private network for WAN. Okay. So let's go back into WAN and I'm going to uncheck these two. Sometimes PFSense does not allow to do that, but I'm going to try my best. So if I click on apply changes, maybe it's going to give me some error uh yeah you can see it's taking a lot of time but it's just to apply changes one more time yeah settings were already been applied uh i'm i'm not gonna trust this one so i'll just go to lan and we'll come back to van again just to verify if those two are still unchecked yes these two are still unchecked so i'm going to go into firewall rules and i should not be able to see these two rules yes on the van under firewall rules under van you can see there is no more rules what uh they were previously available okay so after uh, deleting those two rules or unchecking on the van side we are going to add a rule on the top of everything so you need to select this top arrow button with add not the one with the down arrow because this one is going to add a rule on the bottom so if you have a few rules here and those are denying something that sometimes it could be a problem so that's why i'm telling you add it on to the top okay so we are going to allow the traffic so that means we are going to set the action pass allow this traffic for what interface interface van input would be the address family that's going to be ipv4 and we are going to use a port number specifically just to like a little bit secure it like i'm not going to allow everything so we're going to use tcp you can do any tcp udp but i just want to be specific for the web configurator i'm not allowing ssh access or anything so for source, if you know your IP address, you can set that address. But if it's some remote location and you're doing it just for a meanwhile, then you can leave it any. And then for the destination, you're going to set the van address and the port number 443 because we are using HTTPS for the web configurator and then click on, but be, before clicking on save, I can show you I'm not able to access firewall using the van IP address here. You can see it's still loading. So if I click on save and apply changes, if all the settings were fine, if I hit enter, it should be, oh, I can, I can even, uh, I'm even logged in. Okay. So that means all the settings were correctly configured and this is questionable why I'm logged in because I was doing the test before making this video. So don't worry, you're, you're not going to get a logged in page. So definitely you will see this page with the username and password to enter and then you can log in and do whatever using the van IP address. And again, it's not recommended. Once you're done, doing your emergency stuff using your van ip address access and then i will recommend you to check 
those two boxes on the van address and remove the rule to access using uh, the van IP address. But in case if you're testing or you're doing any lab kind of stuff, you're fine to do that. If you have any production server or you're running a business, this is not recommended. Anyways, that was the method how you can access using the van IP address. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.